Hey guys, Pierre from Into Fly Fishing and welcome to another fly tying tutorial. In the vise today I've got a nymph that has been the most successful for me over the past season. The fly is easy to tie, uses minimal materials and just gets the job done. The tools you need to tie this nymph is a vise, a rotary vise really helps and it makes life a lot easier, a bobbin holder for your thread, a razor, a bodkin, a UV torch and a whip finishing tool. For the hook itself I'm using a Moosh Fly Fishing 6432 in a size 18. Any jig hook in a small size would work perfectly. For the bead I'm using a 2.5mm tungsten bead that is slotted the colour brown. So the first step is to slide the slotted bead onto the hook. You'll notice that the slotted bead has a small opening on the one side and a long slot on the opposite side. Slide the bead with a small opening over the hook point first. Once you've slipped the bead over the hook point, just slide it so that it sits right up against the eye of the hook. Then you can secure the hook and the vise. What you're looking for is a level shank, as always, and that the hook point is protruding. For thread, I'm using Griffith Shear 14.0 in the color cinnamon. Attach the thread right behind the bead, wrapping your thread a couple of times over itself, and once you feel that it's locked in place, simply trim off the excess. Now what we want to do is seat this bead in the correct position. Keep rotating the bead until it slides into place and when you push it forward, all the weight sits in the front and on the top of the hook. Once you've got it there, bring your thread right behind it and just build a thread dam to secure it in place. This weight and the offset of the hook eye will ensure that the hook rides hook point up when it's um, flowing through the water. Now open your thread by spinning the bobbin counterclockwise and lay a thread foundation almost to the bend of the hook, just stop short a bit. Right about there is fine. I prefer using a soft hackle feather for the tail. Stroke the fibers so that the tips are aligned trim off about four or five fibers. We want the tail to be about the length of the body. Place the tail in place and with a pinch wrap just secure it right where you want it. Now wrap the thread forward covering all this material like so. The next step is to prepare the peacock quill. I remove one of the holes from a peacock feather and lay it on a table. Then with an eraser, I stroke against the grain to remove all the shiny fibers. Rotate the feather every now and then to make sure that you've taken off all these fibers. Basically what you're looking for is a stripped quill like that. Tie the quill in on the side of the hook shank with the thinnest tip and run your thread to the base of the tail. Then wrap your thread all the way forward again, covering all the excess material, and make one half hitch. Lay your thread on a bobbin rest so it's out of the way. Take the quill in your hand and rotate the quill around the hook shank by rotating your vise. Go all the way forward, leaving a small gap where we'll build the thorax. Then secure the quill with your thread. Take the bobbin rest out of the way and cut off the excess. Now do a three turn whip finish as we'll be trimming off the thread to seal the body. For UV resin, I'm using Solares Dries a Bone in Thin. This creates a very even body that cures clear and very hard. Place a little bit of the UV resin on the top, on the bottom of the fly. Just keep rotating the fly while you spread all that resin around the body. Keep rotating to spread the resin around. Come in with your UV torch and just cure the resin.
As you can see, we create a nice slender and semi-tapered body. Now attach the thread right behind the bead again, as you did earlier, and just trim off the thread excess. For the thorax, I'm going to use pine squirrel, pluck some off the skin, remove all of the thuft, and just create a very slender and buggy dubbing noodle around the thread and just create a thorax like that. Very simple, very easy and very quick. Once you're happy with the thorax, just do a two or a three turn whip finish to finish off the fly. Pull the knot tight and trim off the thread. Place a drop of Sally Hansen's hard as nails or any other head cement on your bodkin and just seal the thread. And there you have it. One of my most successful nymph patterns that is both easy, quick and very cheap to tie. I hope that you enjoyed this fly tying tutorial. If you did, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications and we can let you know as soon as we release any future tying tutorials. Until next time, cheers.